you can absorb everything using broadband acoustic panels in your room. Number one, you need to install floor to ceiling base traps in the four corners of your room. Ideally, you're starting with a rectangular room with a good room ratio, and then you fill those corners with acoustic base traps. These can be just acoustic panels that straddle the corner, or it can be specifically like flush corner base traps that you buy from some acoustic panel company. It doesn't matter. The point is floor to ceiling absorption. Next, this is something most people do not ever think about, but put soffit base traps in the top corners of your room. Again, these are corners as well, where the wall and the ceiling meet. So all the way around the perimeter of your studio at the ceiling, there should be acoustic soffits. This could be just acoustic panels that straddle that corner, or it could be rectangular soffits that are basically insulation covered in fabric that fill up that corner to help absorb low frequencies in the corners. Now, as we dive into this video, I wanna give you some very clear and simple advice. Four inch thick insulation is pretty much the maximum I recommend for all of my clients. The reason being that beyond four inches, I think you're spending more money on insulation and getting less value for the amount of money you're spending. I think four inches of insulation plus at least a one inch air gap behind the panels is what's gonna give you the most value. 